The halation effect is used to give a more cinematic look to our videos, emulating classic film lenses and cameras. It's a phenomenon that occurs in photography and video when a very bright light source creates a halo of light around it. Let's see how you can do it in DaVinci Resolve. The studio version of DaVinci Resolve, that is, the paid version, includes the halation effect. But don't worry, in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create exactly the same effect totally free. First, we need to select a node where you haven't applied any adjustments. Right-click on it, and in the Mode section, we must select Screen Mode. This mode will allow us to select only the high brightness area of our video, exactly what we need to apply the halation effect. Next, go to the Effects menu in the top right corner and look for the Edge Detect effect. This effect is completely free and is what we'll use to imitate the halation effect. Select the effect and apply it to our node. As you can see, our video will now appear with strange edges, but don't worry, this is normal. We go to the settings of the edge detection effect, and in Mode, we select Grayscale Edges. This will allow you to choose the color of the brightness that we will apply to the halation effect. I recommend selecting a reddish-orange tone, as it is the standard color for the halation effect. Once we've selected the color, we activate the Edge Mask Overlay checkbox. Great! Right now, we have basic orange color in the entire video. What we'll do next is to select only the areas where we will apply the halation effect. Simply put, the edges that have a lot of brightness. As we set our node to screen mode at the beginning of the tutorial, we can now easily do this. Go to the Curves menu, left-click on the line, and go down. We need to create a curve that only contains the area of the highlights, that is, the area on the far right. Great! As we can see, now the orange color only appears in the brightest edges and no longer affects our entire video. That is what we wanted to achieve. You can always go back and modify the curve to improve the selection. Well, we've finished the first part of the tutorial. Now we just have to turn those orange edges into the halation effect. To do this, we will return to the Effects menu, Edge Detect, in the Detection section. We can modify several settings, Edge Width, Brightness, Gamma, and Blur. First, we'll adjust the Edge Width by sliding the circle left or right to find the optimal value, usually around 0.2, which tends to work well. Our goal is to ensure that the bright areas where we want to apply the halation effect are those with reddish edges. This parameter will help us to place these red edges more accurately. Next, we need to modify the brightness setting. The brightness setting controls the intensity of the highlighting on the edges. I don't recommend increasing the brightness too much as this can ruin the edges. Increase or decrease the brightness to your liking, but always maintaining the reddish edges. I recommend selecting a brightness value between 1 and 2. Let's try 1.8 for now, but if later we see that the effect is too exaggerated, we can always reduce it. Finally, we'll adjust the gamma value. You can adjust the gamma value to change how the contrast between the edges and the background is represented. I recommend adjusting the value between 1 and 1.5. Great! We've finished adjusting the effect, but as you can see, the edges are still very intense, with two bright red lines covering the edges. To achieve the halation effect, we need to apply a blur effect on these edges. We go to the Blur menu, and in the Intensity option, we increase the three color bars. As you can see, as we raise these bars, the bright edges become softer and more blurred. Let's set a value between 80 and 90. Okay, the effect is a bit exaggerated, looking like neon lines, but that's fine. As I mentioned before, we can reduce the brightness in the edge detection effect settings to make the halation effect more realistic. Or, you can also reduce the opacity of all the settings in the Global Blend option. This is another way to decrease the intensity of the effect. Perfect! We're done! Let's see the before and after of the effect, deactivating and activating it to see the difference. Now let's compare it to the paid effect in the Studio version. This is the effect we just created for free, 
and this is the effect of the paid version. As you can see, it's practically the same. You might be wondering, do I have to do all this every time I want to apply the halation effect to a video? I will now show you how to save this effect so you can use it whenever you need it in any video. To save the halation effect, go to the gallery menu. Click on this icon to expand the memories menu. And also click on this other icon to open the still albums menu. Perfect. Now we're going to save our color grade, that is, the setting with the halation effect node. Simply press the Alt key along with a number, like Alt 1, and by pressing the keys, our color adjustment will appear in the Memories menu. Now that we have the color adjustment, we'll create an album to save our color settings or effects. Left-click on the option Add Power Grade Album. Then save the color adjustment in the album we just created. Select the effect and drag it to the album. For easy identification, write a name, for example, Halation. And that's it. Now you have the effect saved and you can use it whenever you need it. It's not complicated to apply the effect. Simply select it and drag it onto the node in any other video. It's that easy. Now you can use the Halation effect in DaVinci Resolve for free. If you want to keep learning a lot more about DaVinci Resolve, here's my playlist with all the tutorials. See you in the next video.